Ooh, how are we doing guys and girls? Welcome back to Three Minute Thursday. And we've got some more spoon tricks for you, spoony spoony. So <clears throat> again, if you like these videos, don't forget to give them a like, give them a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends and family and all that lovely stuff. It really does help me out so I can make more and more and more of these videos for you. Okay, so this move is, you've probably seen the spinning craze of spoons. Now, if you really want to learn how to do some of these super deluxe badass moves that you see with spoons, you need to just go onto YouTube and, and, and Google finger spinning. These guys have been doing it, or uh, sorry, pen spinning, finger pen spinning, something like that. These guys have been doing it for years and years and years, and they can do some tricks which I can't even uh, fathom to understand. So, but I'm gonna show you uh, a simple move here, or a couple of simple moves you can use with a spoon. If you have one of these long spoons, it does become a lot easier, all right? Um, so, the way you're gonna do this is, uh, you're gonna put it in, oops, excuse me. Once you're gonna do this is, you're gonna learn to do this one, okay? This is sort of the base of the, the finger spinning moves, I suppose the easiest one to learn, because it doesn't actually involve spinning any spoons around your fingers. So, what you wanna do is you're gonna have the spoon horizontally, and you wanna grab hold of it, your index finger and your, your, your middle finger. You wanna make sure you're in the middle, so if I hold it there, it's too far, if I hold it there, it's the other way. You wanna get it in the middle, so find the middle spot, okay? That's gonna make it a lot easier. Then you wanna, you see how you've got that sort of spring going on once you've got hold of it. My fingers are facing down. Uh, and you're gonna twist around like this, okay? Okay, now what I mean by that is you're gonna, as you twist, you turn your hand over and the spoon comes towards your face and then you turn it, your fingers up and then you're in this position, okay? It looks kinda shit when you do it slow. So you're gonna, oh, excuse me, you're gonna go towards you, so spin it away from you, towards you. Okay, and when you do it faster, it looks, oh shit, it looks a lot better, okay? And that's your general base. Now from there, you can add an extra bit onto the end of that move. So you come around and around your thumb. Now that move around the thumb is the, is a, the, what, the first spoon spinning trick that I learned. And it's like around the thumb that you use with the shaker, same concept, but horizontal, Okay, and again, you wanna make sure you're in the middle of the, the spoon. So forget about the first move for now, and when you practice this one, you're gonna hold it between these three fingers like this, and you're gonna push with the middle finger, and the spoon is gonna fly around your thumb, and then you grab hold of it again, all right? So it's like this. If I do it vertically, it's a bit more difficult, but you can see how it spins. This is one full rotation. So when you're in this position, you can come around here, and then push it around your thumb. Sometimes it may slide out of position like this, but just try again, all right, and you'll see how it goes from then on. Super simple move to learn. This one, and you can use it as you pick up your spoon. The more, there goes my spoon. The more you, used to, you, the more you get used to picking it up in the right position, and then performing the move, I've got another one here, and then performing the move, then you'll be able to do it, excuse me, I'll be able to do it without looking, okay? That's the idea you wanna to get to, and it is a super cool move to learn, so give it a shot, let me know how you get on, leave your comments in the comments box below, and until next time, see you then.